What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So today is Monday. Um, today we're going to attempt to clean out the engine bay of the Integra. Um, so went to the local uh, Dollar Tree store, picked me up some um, some cleaning products. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I wish I had a power wash and all that jazz, but since I'm in front of my apartment parking lot and I don't want to get too 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 crazy with it. So and it'd probably be noisy even if I had a portable, it'd probably be very noisy. So um don't want to get too crazy with it. So anyways, I'm just going to use a bucket cleaning solution I bought. Um I already had this before. It's called Totally Awesome. I've used it before on other products uh on my other car, so never tried an engine bay so it shouldn't be too bad not trying to get showroom status or anything I just want to clean the engine bay out uh, we have to take the mounts out uh, because those aren't reasonable anymore for K swap I'm um, having to take those axles off of the wheels and the um, some of the exhaust is still sticking out the cat and jump um, the cat in the hole the whole exhaust whatever so I'm um, having to take that off but for today we're just gonna focus on the engine bay for now um, in my dirty clothes, so the only f f hindering factor right now is other than not having a big budget is the weather. Um, I'm sure everyone knows it's December, so it's pretty cold. Um, not Ross Arkansas is a hit and run sometimes, in my opinion. Last year was really cold. Um, for some reason, this year is not too cold, but it's chilly. So staying outside for a while, it's you know, it's it, it creeps up on you, so it's really chilly, chilly. So other than that. There's not much complaint I could do. Just gotta get it done. So, um, other than that, guys, let's get started. Genuine color, ruined color. Genuine color, ruined color. Okay, guys, so this is it. Uh, as you can see, I have the um, axles tied up with some wire um, so I think the hardest part right now is that subframe subframe is really dirty um, some more areas yaddy, yaddy. man I'm looking at it it looks overwhelming but <laughs> try as much as we can um, hey guys so uh, yeah start Alright guys, the so first attempt now, I'm just going to try and spray it out, let it soak for a bit. So, make sure this is on. Alright. Imagine how much liquid makes something look so cleaner. Now it's time to try and scrub all oh, this power steam reservoir has to be moved out. Uh, really overwhelming guys, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? <laughs> Alright guys, so my first attempt is gonna be that. This side right here. If I don't get anything off, I'm gonna quit. But I'm having high hopes, so we're gonna attempt this side first and see what we can do with the rest. So, yep. I don't know, guys. Is it me or I'm just punishing myself doing this shit?
Eh, not bad, not bad. Next level torture. But man, the, the dirt has been like sitting on there for so so long, and obviously heat and all that. It just it's just like baked into the to the metal. So takes a bit of scrubbing, but we get it done. Alright YouTube, so this is how it looks. No cameras are deceiving, so but I mean it doesn't look that bad. I mean versus this side. To that side. It's too 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 bad. I mean, I'm okay with it. Still gonna do more, but it's really painstaking. Thumbs up for motivation, thumbs down for you're doing crazy bullshit. <laughs> but uh honestly if I had the budget, the time, I'd probably remove all these hard lines and just get it power washed and just clean re-sprayed but you know this 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 project is an adventure so even if i get the engine in probably going to be through many setups so hopefully you know the budget gets bigger and bigger and i you know i can do more and learn more and get the whole car re-sprayed you know what i'm saying so you know the hard part i'm seeing is on that steering rack it's more gunked up down there so more gunk down here, so that's the hardest part. But yeah, I'm gonna continue. It's starting to get dark, so. Alright guys, so sort of ish, finish with the sides as I said. One thing we want to take the chance and try to fight the sunlight and try to clean up as much of the gunks as possible. Um, not much I'm going to get, but I'm going to try as much as possible to see how many I can get off. As much as I can get off. Um, it's really just time to get dark. guys but this I mean it's not too bad I mean I think I have 60% done so yeah let's try this guys let's try this we can do this <laughs> Too bad, not too bad. Obviously, there's some crevices I can't get, but I mean, not too bad for the most part. Other side, look at the other side. Not too bad. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, we just got done-ish, 75 now of the engine bay. Unfortunately, nature has stopped sharing us its light, so I'll call this the end of this video. I uh, really thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to still tackle more of it, so this is just part one. Like I said, I wish I had more time and a bigger budget probably take it to someone who's specialized in cleaning and doing things like these but it's worth the try you know what i'm saying if you don't try you don't learn so it's worth the try for me i'm really happy that i got up and started doing it because i know it's cold and all that so happy to show you guys this video um, 
So I'm gonna kick you guys out now. So I'm just gonna go to sleep and rest in this video. So thanks for watching guys.